I'm here at EGX 2016. Um, I've just had to go on Esper 2, um, and I'm here with Jonathan from CoatSync. Um, so yeah, that was my kind of second kind of time on VR. Okay. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Really, really cool. And um, I think what you've got here to me seems like a really cool advancement yeah. into where puzzle games are going to go eventually yeah. now. Um, could you talk to us a little bit about Esper 2 and what you do in it? And yeah, yeah, works? sure. It's like with Esper 2, like what you're describing there is basically you felt like a comfortable experience and that's kind of what we were going for with the end product. So Esper 2 like follows on from Esper 1 where we kept you in this one room, give you what we class as a static frame of reference. And we had you solve the uh, first series of puzzles and it started on the Gear VR which you had to use the touchpad, so it kind of does look like you're doing mind control and controlling things with your mind anyway. A little bit of a Professor X vibe. Um, and then in Esper 2, you kind of go through, complete your training, you do become an agent. Uh, but what we had the chance to do was take what we learned from the first game and kind of expand and iterate upon it. So what you played the deal was kind of a bit of training and you went a bit further. So with new mechanics we'd introduced as well, you got to experiment with them. Yeah. And then as you go on and progress through the game, you'll visit new locations. So you're no longer restricted to one environment. Uh, also, like puzzles become kind of multi-tiered. So like you will have to transition between environments. We still keep you with a static frame of reference. And we solve the movement and traversal of environments through teleportation to other points in the environment. So you can take pieces from one, one area to another to help you solve another puzzle. Uh, one of the things I thought was really cool as well was you had the really really strong narration yeah and you had the kind of being stuck doing tests yeah and while yeah. it was reminiscent of stanley parable and portal yeah it was its own thing entirely and it had such a strong style to itself yeah, yeah. that i felt like i was experiencing something totally totally different that's really good it sounded like what we went for and the good thing was that we could actually have kind of a more like dynamic dialogue so yeah. there's a few things in the game that you'll depending on how what you do and how you perform will dictate what gets said to you by like kind of your companion at the time because like we do have multiple characters in the game that you'll meet later on in later chapters but it's all done through voice like you don't really ever see the character so uh, in Esper 2 we brought on a stronger like a larger voice cast so we had Nick Frost who will do a kind of oh, okay. companion to you we have Laura Pulver who's kind of the director of the agency and then uh, Sean Pert we played the villain for the game as well cool um, also I felt like even though obviously the challenges themselves are, uh, you know, the puzzles yeah. are going to be quite taxing, like trying to figure them out, um, it's a really, really straight away intuitive, mm. uh, especially for me as someone who's never used VR really. Yeah. I straight away got un understood using the 3D depth, moving around the walls, all of this kind of stuff. What's that? That's kind of, design, yeah, or? so that's kind of intentional. Like we, it can be very basic, simple. Pick up, move, like move your depth perception, put stuff in, and like why not? That's why I was watching you. Was that you did pick it up very quick because like you actually in the target range that you were playing, playing, you were actually catching the ball as it bounced back. Yeah. Not you don't normally see that from first time players. Like oh. a lot of the time they will pick it up, and I thought it is interesting. And then when you got the bounce thing, because you'd done it there, and you you could catch the ball. Yeah. Kind of helped you solve that bit as well. Yeah. So you kind of you learn at your own pace. But but it's kind of like easy to pick up then you master it and yeah. you keep going so and you can have a lot of fun in the game even without the puzzles as yeah well. so are you attacking the camera <laughs> yeah. Everything. yeah i was desperate to smash the glass yeah. through um i you know but i was getting a little bit of reactions yeah. you know I was smashing things the narration was coming back yeah um so is that is that going to be a continued theme of yeah, so as, as, you, as you go through the game, you can mess around within the environment and obviously there'll always be some kind of companion through voice there with you and they will kind of iterate on you and tell you to keep going and kind of push you forward but like you did you can choose to ignore them for so long and they'll keep coming back with that yeah. line of dialogue to tell you to progress yeah um well i can't wait to have a go on it really yeah. when when is it coming uh, out esper 2 is already available the oh, most right. recent the most recent thing we've done is bundle it together as part of the esper collection um what happened was we did G esper on gear vr then we did esper 2 on gear vr and then we brought them both to rift and now we've bundled them all up in one package for you so you can experience them both Cool, so, so that's available now then? Yep, you can awesome. buy it today on Gear VR or Oculus Rift. Cool, thank you so much. No worries, yeah, it's a pleasure. I'm here at EGX 2016, I've just had a cut to have a We're here at EGX 2016, uh, okay. <laughs> It's the name of the game that we're about to do, I think. It's day four for us. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm flagging now. <laughs> so I'm here at EGX 2016, that sounded really weird, I'm gonna <laughs> Mitch. Mitch. Cool. Good. I would have said Mark and that would have been wrong. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs>